Today you're going to divide using repeated subtraction. You're going to find that this is going to be a lot more work than what it should be. I'm going to show you how to do repeated subtraction and you're going to find out whether or not you're going to like to use it or not. All right, let's talk and read what they're talking about here. John, John is building a backyard pizza oven with an arch opening. He has 72 bricks. He will place six bricks at a time as he builds the oven. If he arranges the bricks in piles of six, how many piles will he have? So as you can use repeated subtraction to divide your 72 bricks. Divide by six. Let's go ahead and highlight your question so you know what you're finding. And we need to put this part with it. If he arranges the bricks in piles of six, how many piles will he have? We need to make sure we're using piles of six. The numbers that we're using, they already gave us the 70 to 72 total bricks and piles of six. Now, we don't have time to count out 72 counters for every single person and start subtracting them. So, I want you to think about if I had 72 counters and I subtract off 6, I'm going to get an answer. Then I'm going to subtract off another 6 and I'm going to get an answer. And then I want you to subtract off another 6 and get an answer. I want you to think about how long that's going to take. So, we're going to do that for this first problem to show you exactly how long it's going to take us to do the subtract 6 every single time until we get down to 0 left. Okay, so we're going to leave this up here as to how many are left. We'll come back and fill that in here in a little while after we've done this first step. So, recording the subtraction of the group paper is shown. Record the number of counters that are left and then the number of times you subtracted. So, every time you subtract, we're going to count that as one. So, we can see how many times it takes us to subtract that six to get to the zero. So, the first one asked us to subtract 72. Minus 6. So when I do that, what do I get when I'm finished? You're subtracting, folks. So if I'm doing 72 minus 6, can I take the 2 minus the 6 in this column? No. No, so I'm going to have to do my borrowing. If you cannot do that in your head, which some of you should be able to do, you're going to make this a 12, and this is going to become... A 6. So when I subtract, I get a total of 66. So that's what they asked up here for the first time. They want to know how many are left after you've taken 72 minus your 6. So that's one time of taking it minus 6. So we're going to continue, and we're going to take the next one, minus 6. So fill it into the grid. Okay, what do I get when I subtract 66 minus 6? 60. And how many times is this? 2. Are we even close to being at 0? Not yet. So we're going to keep going. Minus 6. 60 minus 6. 54. If you can't do it, do the math and the regrouping. You're going to change the, ten, the 0 to 10, and the 6 is going to become a 5, so that will give you 54. How many times have we done it? 3. Now, they don't give you any more grid paper, so we're going to continue over here on the side of the paper where we have it. You're going to take 54 minus the 6. So you're going to end up with whatever your answer was, and then you're going to keep subtracting 6. So when I do that, do the borrowing if needed. Some of you I know do need it. What's 14 minus 6? 8. And then 4 brings down. So this is 4 times. Yes. Now you have a little bit more room on your page, so you'll be able to do this a little bit more than I will. Minus 6 again. What do I get now? 42. That's how many times? 5. Then we're going to start with 42. We're going to subtract 6. Do the regrouping. 12 minus 6. And bring down the 3 becomes how many times? 6 times. Are we to 0 yet? Do you see how long this is taking? 
Is repeated subtraction the way to go? No. Probably not. Now, after we do these a couple times, I'm going to show you a faster way. Let's continue to subtract. What do I get now when I take 36 minus 6? 30. 30. That's how many times? 7. Keep subtracting 6. What do I get next? 4. That's 8 times. 24 minus 6. See all the room we're having to find, too? So 24 minus 6. That's 9 times. 18 minus 6. 10 times. 12 minus 6. 11 times. And finally, I can subtract 6 and I get what? So how many different times did it take us to subtract 6 before we finally got to 0? 12. 12 times. Now that's a lot of doing subtraction. We had to do it 12 different times. So did we reach 0 evenly? Yes. Yes, we did. So our answer to C is yes. And how many times did it take us to do that? 12. So that means that there are... 12 groups of 6 counters and 72. Because you actually went down and you subtracted it all to 0. So that means that we can divide the 6 evenly 12 times. Now, if you know anything about your multiplication facts, you probably already knew that 12 times 6 is... 72. But I wanted to show you how long it takes to do the repeated subtraction like this. So it says count the number of times we subtracted the six counters. How many times was it? Twelve. Twelve times. So there are how many piles of six bricks? Twelve. Twelve piles. And then look at all the work it took. Is that something we want to be able to do? Take three or four minutes to figure out one problem by using repeat subtraction this way? Yeah. All right, so hopefully once we get going, I'll show you a different way and you'll be able to use it a little bit easier. Turn the page and we have some questions to answer about what we did. Now you have to know your vocabulary words. Divide your dividend and quotient to be able to answer these questions. Number one says to explain the relationship between the divisor, the dividend, the quotient, and the number of times that you subtracted the divisor from the dividend. So let's go back and look at the numbers we're discussing. Divisor, dividend, quotient. What's 72? The dividend. Six is the? Divisor, and my quotient was 12. That's also the number of times it took us to do the subtraction, correct? So we know what all our numbers are. So it asks you about the relationship between those things. Okay, between the divisor, the dividend, the quotient, and the number of times we subtracted. So talk to your neighbor for a second about what you notice in all of those particular numbers. What were we subtracting in our problem on the other side? Aiden? Okay, so what's the six? What one of these words is the six? Okay, so the divisor is what we're subtracting, right? So we subtracted the divisor as many times as we could from what number? What were we subtracting it from, Ian? The dividend. So there's our first sentence for our explanation. So you're going to say, we subtracted the divisor as many times as we could from the dividend. So we're subtracting that 6, which is the divisor, as many times as we could from the dividend, which was 72. 
two. So who can tell me what the quotient was then? Logan, what was my quotient? 12. 12, and that was how many times we had done that. Okay, so we're going to say also that, and I'll let you use the number symbol, the number of times we subtracted is the quotient. I know there's not a lot of room to write. Let's try to get it on there. took the 12 
minus the 12 to get our 